Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Tartul, and in this video I want to show you what's the easiest way to solo imposter ship squatch. But before we jump into the video, I want to welcome two new Patreons, MetalB00 and Who's Our Hero. Welcome into Tartul's army. I appreciate all your support and it's actually start to look like an army. <laughs> Thank you a lot everyone joining. And now to the point. Uh, what are the requirements for this method? I will start from that. The most important troubleshooter armor set. It doesn't matter what armor. As you can see, I have just random pieces of troubleshooter armor. This is a secret service that end up being one star, but it's troubleshooter. Troubleshooter basically means minus 15% damage from robots. This is the effect you want on all five armor pieces. Then my left arm is two star. Increase action point refresh speed. That is awesome, actually. Left leg, it's about the same. Action point refresh. Right arm, uh, it's three star, but as you can see, plus one intelligence and reduced falling damage will not help me with this event. Then it's the one star that matter. And last piece is just a uh, leather, one star. Then, as you can see, my set is nowhere near great. It's just five random pieces. The only common aspect of all of them is minus 15% damage from robots. Now, about the weapon I will be using in here, it's Medic Shotgun. That's the important part. You want Medic Shotgun. Even if you will not put your hand on Magical Medic Shotgun, uh, the Magic Shotgun, it will make this event so much easier. Although you can use any weapon, like vampires heavy guns or other stuff uh, that will help you heal while fighting, that's always helpful, but nothing is as powerful as medics shotguns. If this will be a combat, a pump action or double barrel, you can use them. Combat shotgun is the best. And of course you can as well just annihilate imposter ship squatch with new ghost medic shotgun but that's a different story and it's definitely not the easier because if you mess up then you will not win but this is the easiest method and quite widely available you can you should be able to quite easily find a medic shotgun after at least after the vending machine will be re-enabled this moment can be a little bit harder counting on luck now we just toss in the card but will not activate yet because there is other important factor Let's unlock it, use keycard, and we have 10 minutes to get ready. I have shotgun on ready. Now, important, use your buffs before fight. Whatever buffs, especially everything that will increase your HP. The more hit points, the better. Now, I have the serum, I will use it. Uh, this way I will not have negative effects of adrenal reaction serum reducing my health. Uh, what else I have here that is useful? One Bramming Mill just in case I want to have zero rats. And I can take my time because the imposter will not come any faster. Oh, Pemmican is giving endurance. Definitely useful. Do I have anything else that's useful? Oh, Vodka is giving max, max HP. Then we'll take that as well. And we will take Psycho buff for more max HP. And now we activate the event, initialize, and there is a waiting part. Oh, I will, didn't show the perks. Just quick a look on the perks. Basically, it's whatever can boost my HP, like rejuvenated, and whatever can boost my damage, plus first aid and born survival. That, that's important perks that will help me not to die and blocker under strength because main damage of imposter ship squatch is still melee attacks and he is deadly laser beam but as you can see with this troubleshooter set i can tank those ibots and with fireproof i'm taking zero damage from them and what i'm waiting for is for the pylons to be ready and in the meantime you can start stacking your adrenaline for extra damage when imposter will come in and you will actually be able to fight him and less robots around is always good as well 
Plus what you should have on some quick buttons, uh, whatever buff like I have canned coffee or Nuka Cola Quantum, something that will refresh your AP because Medic's effect on shotguns works only if you can keep critting in VATS. I probably forgot to swap one perk. Yeah, good with salt, cannot be in here. For this reason, I need four leaf clover. That's important one, otherwise I will not get my criticals. Okay, now the pylons. We grab the pylon, we run. Occasional steam pack. First aid will help with killing, healing. You want to be possibly with high health when you will start fighting. The imposter, one more steam. Some of the con canned coffee and then start shooting him in vats and get this uh, healing from medics. As you can see, my health is holding quite well. And now when my vats breaks, I will just use additional steam pack and I will keep shooting and canned coffee is regenerating my AP. That's the important part. You eat couple canned coffee and you are quite fun, uh, quite fun, quite fine for the duration of the fight. Uh, more canned coffee, use some steam pack if you are out for a moment of combat. One more canned coffee and then keep shooting. Aim for torso, do not go for a headshot, it's a robot. And therefore we finish imposter ship squatch and in my opinion it's the easiest way to do so. Uh, the least amount of stress associated with that. And even if you are not going solo, this medic shotgun will allow you with Trabushter armor scent to actually tank for everyone, even if you don't have damage to go solo after imposter. And if your shotgun is not magical, it will take a little bit longer to kill the imposter that you should remember about it. Like medic shotgun that have this VATS hit chance is magical and it basically doing like in VATS four times more damage than it will do otherwise. And regular robots, that's not a problem. They cannot harm me at all, as you can see. Barely scratch my health. And that's the important part, because you cannot really increase too much your resistance versus them, versus imposter and pylons. Increasing your maximum HP is the best way to go. You want to increase your max HP. That's the way to protect yourself from imposter and from pylon drain. And the same thing actually increases your healing from steam packs. Because if, let me show you. Oh, it doesn't say it anymore on the steam pack itself, but basically healing from the steam pack is percentage base. What means that the higher your health, the higher your healing from a steam pack. Like if one steam pack will heal you 40% health and your health will go up, from 300 to let's say 400, this extra 100 to your max HP will increase the healing from a steam pack by 40. Then it's why it's so important to have high HP and the perks that I show you. Okay, I decided to go for some bonus footage and uh, do the other approach, what means very sneaky, stealthy approach and one hitting him with magic ghost shotgun. Let's see how well I will do. The Captain Noob did this already. Let's see if I can do it. I'll take my Psycho Tats and my Stealth Boy to be on the safe side. Activate the pylons. Shouldn't be spotted. At least that's the idea. We just sneak around. Activate the pylons easily and then I will go and one shot impose the ship squatch to avoid any other hassle with this event. It's regular stims and before activating this one, two scorch mistakes. Now there is a imposter ship squatch. Okay. And that's a dead imposter ship squatch. That's what happened if you use a magic ghost shotgun. It's not too much to do with a skill, just a magic ghost shotgun. 
and everything is dying. As long as Vats can hit, everything will just die. And with Stealth Boy, yeah, you can have first couple hits from Sneak. Full set of unyielding Stealth Boy, I will show you. Yeah, for this approach, unfortunately, cannot be done without Ghost Shotgun in this manner. The Combat Shotgun, Bloody Limb Damage can get close, but not uh, two or three shots. Uh, the magic effect is limb damage. And you need to get close to the imposter and just fats him. If fats will hit, then he's basically dead. Uh, my armor set is my unyielding set. Then it's a good set. So you can see it's a shadowed leather, mostly like most pieces. Ultralight, shadowed leather. Uh, one piece is harder to detect while sneaking. If I put Stealth Boy on top of this, I'm invisible beast. And about the perks, uh, how my Stealth Boy lasted so long, a secret agent. My agility is only 12, but that's okay with an yielding set. There is sneak perk, adrenaline. Yeah, basically you can take a look what I had. The suppressor is here just because I have nothing else to put in uh, to pair it with tenderizer. Then it ended up being suppressor. Yep. That's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the a comment section about the ghost shotgun. Don't ask too much about ghost shotgun. I'm still testing it and it will, my review will be in a couple days. I need to figure out a couple things with this shotgun, apart from it doing damage, what's obvious. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.